is too hard. Want me to help you? I'm best in my class at addition. <laughs> You're sweet, but I'm not even sure that John can't. Ah, that's the solution. John, John. What? Could you please help me with my math because I really just do not get it. If you want, on one condition, that you help me make my costume for my play. I can help you. What do you need? A costume for a pirate or for a superhero? Uh, that's nice, but aren't you a bit too young for that? I wouldn't want you to cut yourself with the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me a break, will ya? To hear you guys, you'd think I was a total loser. <laughs> okay, John, just hold it still while I cut. Make sure it's straight. Woohoo! Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Peter. Peter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There a problem here? Are you sulking? <laughs> no problem here. Whoa, chill out. I'm taking you on a trip to Neverland. That might change your tune a little. You bunch of three-headed tadpoles. I think I found something. What is it? Quick! Give it here for Barnacle's sake. I had a dream. And in this dream, a voice told me that if I should dig exactly here, I'd find the key to a great treasure, the source of power so great it'd allow me to rule over Neverland. <laughs> I was smart to follow them. The treasure will be mine. No, I can't understand a thing. Translate these cursed symbols for me. Uh, I'll take care of it. Huh? Stop her! Hey, come back here! Bye-bye! Darn! Get up, you bunch of useless jellyfish! I will not let that rotten fishwife steal my power! So find it before me, before I lose my temper! Great chief, it's an honor to see you here. Is there a problem in the village? No, no, not at all. I just came to order a birthday cake from Chubbs for Lily's birthday. Yeah, the natives are throwing a huge party for the occasion, and we're all invited. Yeah! <laughs> Except that there's a problem. My cake making machine is out of order, and without it, I can't make the awesome cake I was planning to make. You don't need a machine. I can help you. I'm a top-notch pastry chef. Uh, well, I was actually hoping that John could help me repair the machine, since he's so good at mechanics and all. And besides, Michael, you're better at eating cakes than making them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But Michael, it was just a joke. Don't bother. He's just in a bad mood today. Okay, let's have a look at the machine. Hmm? Poor Michael. I hope he's okay. <laughs> it's okay, I think I've lost them. All right then, let's take a closer look at this stone. Hmm? <gasps> what is this gibberish? To translate this mess, I'd need John's great book, but he'd never lend it to me. <sighs> Talk about a treasure. It's so unfair. I'm sick of being treated like a baby. I can do stuff too. I'm just as good as John, Wendy, and even Peter. Huh? <laughs> Sienna, are you okay? Michael? I, it's just that I absolutely have to translate the symbols on the stone. It's, it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> well, uh, maybe John could help you. He always knows everything about everything. John doesn't know everything. 
I bet that if you could just go get the Great Book of Neverland for me, you'd be perfectly capable of helping me. Do you think so? But I don't think John would let me have it, especially to lend it to you. I need you, Michael. You're the only one who can help me. Stay here. I'll be back. I think I've found the problem. There's a band that came off of the pulley here. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> I knew it! You're the best, John! Thank you, John. Lily will be very grateful. Sienna? I've got it! I've got it! Look! I knew you could do it. It looks like a title. At the beginning of time. Neverland was a world of chaos, dominated by an all-powerful creature, the terrible Barum. Luckily, the Ancient Ones were able to imprison him in a conch shell that they buried deep in the earth. What a story! Wait, it's not finished. A prophecy says that one day, Barum will return. He or she, who finds the conch shell and wakes him, will obtain all his power and rule over all of Neverland. Wow, so cool. I've got to have that conch shell. Look, there's a map that shows where. A tree placed between two large stones. Uh, it's probably not very safe to wake up Barum. He doesn't look too nice. Maybe we should speak to Peter about it first. You go right ahead, but I'm going to go get the power of that barum. <laughs> hey, wait! Neverland will be mine! <laughs> I'm gonna go get the ingredients, and I promise to make the greatest cake Neverland's ever had. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hey, by the way, are you the one who borrowed the Great Book of Neverland? Um, yeah, but, uh, I kind of lent it to Sienna. You lent the great book to Sienna? But she needed it to read a stone that told a really old story about Neverland. Uh, about a sort of Barum guy who lives in a conch shell. Barum? Did you say Barum? Where is this stone? Well, actually, Sienna took it with a book. She went to go look for the conch shell to wake up Barum and take his power, or something like that. The return of Barum to Neverland would be a catastrophe. Barum is an all-powerful, chaotic creature. To awaken him would be madness. Uh, way to go, Michael. You've done it this time. No time to lose. We have to stop Sienna before she makes a huge mistake. Please let them get there in time. Trap path. I see. I just stay on the path and make sure not to stray off of it. Barnacle. Durr. We'll never find her. That power was mine. Mine! So, where is it, Michael? I don't know exactly. The stone said a tree between two stones in the middle of the forest. Oh, that really helps. We'll never find Sienna. I think I found it! It's just a little farther ahead. Follow me! Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear that, Mr. Smee? <laughs> Let's follow them. Okay, we're here. There it is. There are the rocks and the tree. Way to go, Tinkerbell. This way, quick. Whee! He's so pig-headed. <laughs> Michael, wait! Wow, well, that was close. Michael, please, be careful! Look, 
We have to stay on the path traced out by the stones. You think you can do that? Yeah, okay, already. <laughs> Good day, my young adventurers. Care for a game with me? Uh, no thanks. I don't have the time. To you. I don't have time to play around. I've got a conch shell to find. The conch shell? You want Barum's conch shell? Well, in that case, you have to play with me. <laughs> oh, all right. What do you want to play? Hang on, there's no rush. We still have to wait for the other contestants to arrive. Peter Pan? <sighs> Step right up, my little visitors. The more, the merrier. <laughs> See, you stole my book. We got here just in time. The Great Chief told us that waking Barum is a very bad idea. More visitors? Yeah! It's party time! I did remind you, Captain, uh, that we had to follow the path of rocks. Welcome, visitors! You've arrived just in time! Thief, you stole my stone! The conch shell is mine. The power of Barum is mine. Mine, mine, mine! The power of Barum is nobody's. We shouldn't go near it. Golly, they don't look very jolly. Life with them seems like a real barrel of laughs. That's for sure. But, uh, who are you anyway? Oh, it's true. How silly of me. It's time for introductions. <laughs> my dear little visitors, let me introduce myself. My name is Pick, and I am the guardian of this place. Apparently, you are all here for the same reason. You want Barum's conch shell. Um, actually, we don't want the conch shell. It's too dangerous. Up the tuck. You came all the way here. So now you have no choice. You must all participate in my great contest. The winner gets to take Barum's conch shell, and there's no consolation prize for second and third place. <laughs> <laughs> this will be so fun! <laughs> your first challenge consists of finding your way out of my labyrinth. West or east, south or north, first one out shall prove his worth. <laughs> <laughs> Flying will come out of this thing in no time. Ta ta ta! In my contest, everyone's got an equal chance. To win, you gotta walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Follow me and keep up. Wait a minute, Michael. I know how to get out of here. In a labyrinth, you just have to follow the left side of the path with your hand. That way, you're sure not to pass by the same place twice. And therefore, one logically finds the exit. You just have to nya 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 nya, Mr. Know-it-all about everything there is to know about anything. You can't deny it. It's the truth. That guy knows his stuff. Is that your brother? Mm, yeah. Woo there! Who are you angry at? John and Wendy are just so great and intelligent, and me, I'm just such a loser. Ugh. I'm really sick of everyone thinking I can't do anything right. Is that what they tell you? My father says the exact same thing about me. That's why he gave me the job of guarding the cave, because he was sure no one would ever show up here, and that way I couldn't do anything stupid. You'll see. We'll show them. Huh? Uh, no, no need to show anyone. Huh? Michael, what are you doing? Hurry up! And quit dilly-dallying. Uh, you are sure you know the way, Captain? Of course. Well, you just trust my legendary instinct. It has availed me yet. Uh -huh. That way. Ha! Uh, uh, Captain, aren't we back at square one? Uh -huh. <laughs> A hand by any chance? <laughs> and there's the exit. <laughs> My plan worked perfectly. Nice one, John. Thank you for the help. Great technique. Cheater! You followed us! You 
certainly took your time. But how did you get here? Oh, we just took a little shortcut. <laughs> hmm. See? Your brother and sister aren't as great as they think they are. But it's not what I meant. What? Pick played against us because of you? What does this all mean, Michael? And it's time for the next challenge! Here are the doors of air, of water, and of fire. You must now get the key that is hidden behind each of these doors. Choose your door in the order you came in from the race. As a pirate, water is my element. I choose the door of water. I'm as quick and silent as the wind. I choose the door of air. Oh, ho the only one left is the door of fire. This is going to heat things up. <laughs> Watch yourself. Whole lot of shaking going on. Huh? It looks like the Neverland volcano. But I think it's just an illusion. Look up there. We can breathe. It's quite strange, isn't it? Strange or not, we get the key and we get our boots out of this blasted swimming pool. Oh, what happened? <laughs> a smidgen more whirlpool. A pinch of wind there. A sprinkling of earthquake here. <laughs> Easier with the earthquakes. Well, we gotta calm this down a bit here, too. won the right to choose your cut shell first. What's that supposed to mean? Come on in, step right up. Welcome to the chamber of the cut shells. Only one cut shell is Barum's. Choose, then call Barum while you hold it. Then you'll find out if it's the right one. <laughs> All right then. Sienna, no, you cannot free Barum. <laughs> Pick, please! You have to stop this game! But, Michael, I've been bored out of my mind for centuries in this cave! Why do you suppose I created that stone with the prophecy and put Captain Hook on its trail by telling him all about it in his dream? It's you that put Hook in search of the conch shell? Well, yeah! Otherwise, you never would have found the entrance to my lair, and I wouldn't have had this much fun! <laughs> We have to finish the game. Destiny is on the march. If Baron must wake, nothing can stop him. <laughs> Baron! You lose. Ha <laughs> ha. Next contestant, please. No, you stay here. 
You and your buddy pick have caused enough trouble already. <laughs> Every time. Huh? <gasps> Which one should we choose? Let's think logically. Sienna chose the shiniest. That was the trap. I think we should choose the least pretty. Bear. Hey, are you crazy? We're not supposed to wake up you-know-who. Oh, right. Sorry. And to think you were about to say Barrow. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you lose two. Next contestant. It's the last one. Master Barum will last rain once more over the earth. <laughs> <laughs> the power is mine. <laughs> Come on, Barum. Oh, no. <laughs> At the beginning of time, there was nothing. Then came an explosion of imagination and magic, and Neverland came to be. But it was a world of chaos, dominated by an all-powerful creature, the terrible Barum. Luckily, the Ancient Ones, the first inhabitants of Neverland, were able to imprison him in a clamshell that they buried deep in the earth. The prophecy says that one day, Barum will return. He, or she, who finds the clamshell and wakes him, will obtain his power and rule over all of Neverland. <laughs> the power is mine! <laughs> it's the last conch! Barum will return! Uh-uh-uh! You had your chance! You have to be good losers now! <laughs> Come to me, Barum! What's going on? Why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, come on! You didn't think I was actually gonna let you wake Barum? When my papa ordered me to guard the conch shell, it wasn't to let it fall into the hands of the first you passerby. Die for this pick. So I'm sorry I played my little joke on you, but I don't get many chances to have a good laugh around here. <sighs> but the real conch, where is it? Shh. Huh? That's a secret. And I won't tell you! It wouldn't do to have someone wake up Barra by mistake! You wasted our time! or two. Time for things to die down. <laughs> Michael, what have you done? Um, I'm really not quite sure. B -b -b Barum! Have the conch. <laughs> Your wish is my command, little master. That's not fair. The conch was by all rights mine. Give it to me, you miserable archer. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Only the little master has the right to touch the conch. <laughs> I'll give you some little master. You'll see. <laughs> Wait, Peter. Barum. Could you please get rid of these two? Could you please just get them out of my sight? <laughs> Little Master's wish is my command. Whoa, so cool! Did you see that? <laughs> I'm the best! But where did they go? Well, who cares, right? We're rid of them. That's what counts. I wonder what else can I ask him? Uh, careful, Michael. Remember what the Great Chief said about Barum? He's a chaotic and uncontrollable creature. Oh, he doesn't look all that terrible. And you heard him. He called me his little master. He'll do whatever I ask. Hey, Baron, can you take us to the Never Tree? <laughs> little master's wish is my command. <laughs> Huh. 
Check out this beauty. The most beautiful birthday cake of all time. Lily's gonna be thrilled. I keep telling you, it'll be better to go to the party dressed up as pirates. And I keep telling you native. And I say animal. Isn't he cool? Right? Wow. How did you do that? <laughs> I am Barum's little master. And yes, he does anything I order him to. He even made Hook and Smee disappear when I asked him to. Uh, Captain, are you there? Yoo-hoo! Oh my, oh my. It seems as if we're invisible. When that little ruffian said he wanted us out of his sight, Barum took him literally. But I'm sure we can use this to our advantage. We've got to find those visible... Boom! Watch out, you silly clam! Uh, pardon me, Captain. <laughs> if you have something you want to wish for, you'll have to ask me very nicely. You won't be able to get by without me now. <laughs> we'll just see if you're as good as you think. Ask Barum to cover me with gold. Barum, hmm? you up for that? Oh, oh, oh. Little Master's wish is my command. <laughs> Whoa, I get the impression we've got to be careful what we wish for. Barum has a rather playful way of interpreting our wishes. We're not kidding, Michael. You really gotta stop making wishes. It's not safe. Why should I stop? He does everything I ask, doesn't he? Of course, baby, no problem. Barum, could you please give an awesome animal disguise to String Bean, Cynthia, and Baby? Hey, but that's not what we said. <laughs> My little master's wish is my command! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Oh no! Lily's cake! Oh, way to go, Michael! Awesome job! <laughs> Come on, Smee. Let's get back to the Jolly Roger quickly. We've got to gather the crew and set off to find that cursed conch shell. Uh, how do you expect the crew to obey you if they can't see you? Oh. Excellent idea, Smee. Excellent idea. Yes, but it hurts. Didn't Peter warn you that Baron Grant's wishes in any old way he pleases? Why didn't you listen? It's obvious that you're incapable of controlling him. Look at all the mess you've made. You've ruined Lily's birthday. I'm sick of being treated like a baby. Truth is, you're just jealous, because now I can do lots of things that you can't. I'll show you what I'm capable of. I'm going to make Tiger Lily's party the best birthday party of all time. Barum, take me to the native village. Michael, don't. <laughs> my little master's wish is my command. <laughs> oh, boy. We have to catch up with them before they do something foolish again. Right, you go on. I'm gonna stay here and try to make something out of this mess of a cake. up with pirate life. All we do is clean and swab and swab again. Shut it. If the captain ever heard you. You know what I'd say to the captain? <laughs> huh? Huh? I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, you mateys. It's me, your beloved captain. And it's me, too. Your, um, well... Uh, captain, is that you? But, uh, you look a bit strange. We're invisible. And so we made these masks so you could see us. Watch this. <laughs> Pirates, I have found the conch of Barum, but it was stolen by one of those cursed darling kids. I want you to search all of Neverland until you get your hands on the miserable Archer. 
What? Well, actually, when we were patrolling the native village, we found out it was the chief's daughter's birthday today. Maybe Peter and the darlings are going there. Ha <laughs> ha, perfect. We'll go and ruin their little party. Prepare for combat. Pirates, sharpen your swords. And you, Jaro, prepare the ammunition. We're going to need it. <laughs> Thank you, my dear Barum. I was starting to get sick of being put down. You're welcome. <laughs> Ouch! No, it's one step to the side, and then only after that do you come forward. Concentrate a bit, will you? But it's just so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody here needs our help. Um, could you maybe make yourself a bit more discreet? We don't want to frighten them. Oh, oh, oh. Little Master's wish is my command. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go give them a hand. No, no, no. I think you must be doing it on purpose. Hello, girls. Anything wrong? Wrong is only the half of it. We wanted to do a dance show for Lily, but Mira can't follow the rhythm. It's because you're going too fast. And also, your dance is really corny. You're the one who's corny. What? Say that again if you dare. Whoa, whoa, chill out, girls. Especially since I've got the answer to your problem. You? But I don't see how. I want the two of you to be perfectly in sync together. Little Master's wish. Shh. Uh -huh. Go ahead, pick up where you left off. <laughs> That's great. We're almost there, guys. With great power comes great responsibility. And Michael is incapable of using Barum's power correctly. Maybe, but he is the little master of the conch. Unless we find some way of getting it back from him. But that's not possible. You've seen how the shell pushes back anyone who touches it. Maybe if you looked in the Great Book of Neverland, there might be a solution in there. Apparently, the only way to get back the shell is to separate it far enough away from its holder to sever the bond. That's perfect. We wait till Michael puts the conch down, we knock him out, tie him up, and hide him in some part of the Never Tree. And then Bear's power will be ours. What are you, nuts? I'm not going to knock out my little brother. What's holding you up? Uh, nothing, nothing. Watch out for her, John, so she doesn't take you in like she took Michael. <gasps> no! Attack! <laughs> what are you doing here? This is one of Hook's new evil plans, is it? No, no. We were only out, uh, walking in the forest. <laughs> you can find delicious mushrooms in this area. As for the captain, well, it's been quite a while since we've seen him, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, let's keep going. We've lost enough time over them as it is. Ah, <laughs> They just explained to me exactly how to get the power of the shell without me even asking. My victory will be absolute. Now, now, calm down, my dear. Peter and the lost kids promised they would come. You think they've forgotten? I'm sure that they'll be here soon, but we have a much more important problem to solve. A problem? What problem? They can't come. Is that it? And the cake is ruined? Oh no, Daddy. Calm down. Did Michael. you hear that? Now it's up to you. So, how's the party now? <laughs> Little Master's wish is my command. <laughs> We'd better hurry. Well, Barum, you can show yourself. Wow. Hi there. How are you today? <laughs> Barum? This creature is Barum? Yeah, yeah. But it's okay, you know. <laughs> He's a lot nicer than in the legend. He and I are best buddies now. His power is uncontrollable. 
No, really. It's all cool. I promise it's all cool. I got this. We can have anything we want. We could use it. Hey, Barum, give Lily a really beautiful big flower. <laughs> Little Master's wish is my command. Hey, someone help me! No, I mean free her. <laughs> Little Master's wish. Cut that out. Just do it. Ah! <laughs> Oops, Michael. What, what have you done? done? We can't, can't get, get unstuck, unstuck from, from one another. another. Do you, you think, think this is funny? So you decided to ruin my party. Is that it? Uh, no, no. Actually, I was trying to... Uh... Now keep your eyes open. Huh? Here's your eye, Captain Ghost. His magic is very harmful. You need to cancel, cancel your, your wishes. wishes. We need to find a way to send him back. There he is, Captain. But he's completely surrounded. It'll be hard to get at him. Smee and I'll find a way. Everyone get ready. Jaro, I need the green powder. <laughs> now, not another word. Forward, Smee. This can't go on any longer. Well, do something, why don't you? And you stop repeating everything I say. Michael, are you pleased with yourself? You've turned everything upside down with your reckless wishes. Didn't I tell you to be careful? No doubt about it. That's a great job you did there, Michael. You see what you've done? You've ruined my party. You you've ruined, ruined our, our lives. lives. Good job, Michael. You've really done it this time. Stop! Little Master's wish is my command. But what did you do? They're right. I'm a total loser. I'm not fit to hold this shell. Little Master is sad. Barum did everything Master asked him to do. Oh, I'm not mad at you. But it is true, you do make a mess of things. <laughs> Barum must obey the Master of the Conch Shell. But Barum also like a good laugh. <laughs> 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 it's true. It is kind of funny. <laughs> You're a good friend, Barum. But now I think we're going to have to stop the wish granting and put stuff back the way it was. Barum want to make Little Master happy. Well, you can start by making time go forward again. Little Master's wish. <laughs> Put everything back like it was before. And I'll stop wishing for things. I'm sorry about everything. That's great, Michael. But don't be too hard on yourself. I don't think anybody can do good things with Barum's power. <laughs> Barum, I want everything to go back Michael, the way- Michael, watch out! <laughs> What's happening? Did you see that? Michael! <laughs> that sleeping powder never misses its mark. Mission accomplished, boys. Let's head back to the Jolly Roger. Michael! This is one of Hook and his gang's tricks. If they think they're going to get away with this, they've got another thing coming. <laughs> Come back here! What are you waiting for? Stop them! Barum cannot go far from the conch shell and can obey no one but the master of the conch shell. Mm. Hey, you! Don't even think about it! <sighs> Out of my way, Miss Mosquito. The conch is mine. No! The conch is Michael's! <laughs> As it turns out, you're both wrong, my little chickadees. The conch is mine. You're right, it works. The holder of the conch shell is far enough away for me to get my hands on it. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Coming through! Stop right there, you bunch of yellow-bellied chickens! I said stop! We'll be in the clear. Keep running! Run! Barum, 
I order you to reverse all the wishes that have been granted ever since you woke up. My gorgeous face! Magnificent! Uh, what? What's this supposed to mean? Looks like Barum canceled the wishes. I possess absolute power. I'm going to start by asking you to grant my dearest, oldest wish. <laughs> <laughs> now you'd better give us Michael back if you don't want me to tickle you all to death. <laughs> well, well, looks like the tide is turning. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! They're not worth the trouble. Bring the prisoner to the Jolly Roger. I'll go back to the captain. Back to the ship! Come on, faster! What? What do we do? Peter's disappearance surely has something to do with Barum. We, we've got to get Michael back in control of the conch. You, you think Peter's all right? I hope so, baby. I hope so. Hook? Dear Peter, I asked my new buddy to bring you back here. Did you miss me? Not so fast, Captain. I have the power of Barum. Back off, unless you want my wrath to rain down on your miserable feathered heads. That's better. And now I can take care of you, Pan. I have plenty of ideas for wishes that will help me avenge years of humiliation. <laughs> A prophecy says that one day Barum will return. He or she who finds the conch shell and wakes him will obtain his power and rule over all of Neverland. <laughs> I now possess the great power of Barum. I'm finally going to teach you a lesson, Pat. I've got tons of ideas for wishes. To get my revenge after all these years of humiliation. Where? Where did little master Michael go? That's none of your business anymore. Now, I'm your master. Let's hurry up. Dagon, put him in the captain's cabin. The rest of us will stay on the deck. They're probably not far behind. I can't run any further. Me neither. It was easier when I was a wild boar. We can't wait. Go get your strength back at the Never Tree. Cynthia and I will go get Michael. Okay. For a start, my dear Pat, what would you say to a friendly little duel? We have a good audience to watch me triumph in your dreams, Hook. Barum, make me fly. <laughs> I want to come down. <laughs> That's right, Captain. Barum's powers are not that easy to control. Oh, poor Captain. <laughs> Girls, go meet the others at the Never Tree. For Squid's sake. What was the meaning of that little joke? Uh, it, it would seem that uh, Barum grants wishes in a somewhat fanciful manner, Captain. One must be very careful what one asks him. All right, then. In that case, Barum, I want exactly the same power as Peter. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, now what is this great oaf done? That's not at all what I asked. Well, you see... Now that Peter can no longer fly, technically you do have exactly the same power as he does. 
Well, actually, it's not so bad at all. Hand stuck to the ground. <laughs> I like it. Hey, hey. And it'll be even better when Barum takes away his dagger. Barum, I order you. Buccaneers, there's going to be some big changes around here. As I speak, the captain possesses the absolute power and will rule Neverland forever. Yay! He'll finally be in a good mood. He's in Hook's cabin. Let's rush in. We have the element of surprise. And I still have my super sneezing powder with me. Mm. You are annoying me! Hunger! Olay! Yeah! <laughs> Great power or not, you're still just a clumsy oaf, Hook. <laughs> oh, so you think this is funny, a big windbag? Try to make a joke out of this wish. I want you to nail Peter to the ground. Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? Barum, I'm begging you. You've got to resist his commands. Barum, sorry. Barum tied to power of the conch shell. He must obey. This time, Pan, you're at my mercy. Warriors, attack. Barum, petrify all of them! <laughs> Let's see. What can I do to punish these rems? What are you going to do now that we have absolute power? With no need, really, to be a pirate. Well, I've always dreamed of opening up a sweet little pirate fashion boutique. Charles! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> to be nice. All right, but on one condition. You're going to strictly obey my orders. No more jokes, or else I'll order you to throw Peter Pan and all his friends into the volcano. You wouldn't want that to happen now, would you? I see we understand one another. Now, off we go to conquer Neverland. <laughs> we have to do something. Tinkerbell, go warn Wendy. The enemy will follow Hook to help Peter. <laughs> Michael, it's not working. I have almost no sneezing powder left, and this door isn't going to hold up much longer. Sneezing powder, that's it. <laughs> yes, he's awake. What is going on? Where are we? The door's about to break! <laughs> Oops! Well done, Michael! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Watch out for my nose! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. The captain's not gonna like this! <laughs> we sure showed them! <laughs> Wendy! Wendy! What's going on? Hook took Barab's conch show! He's got Peter in his power! And he's set out to conquer all of Neverland! We've got to find a way to stop them, quick! Whoa. Michael, you can't come with us in that state. Go back to Chubbs and the others at the Never Tree. Oh, come on, I'm fine. I don't want you in danger again. Tinkerbell, go with him and meet us afterwards as fast as you can. I can't ever do anything at all. Come on, Michael. She's right. Too many things have happened to you today. We're running out of time. Okay, Tink, let's go. I still wish I could help. Here we are. Now I'm off again. But don't you go anywhere, okay? Come back quickly, then. Too young, too tired, too clumsy. I've had it! I know who could help us. My dear Peter, 
Are you ready to witness the conquest of Neverland by the infamous Captain Hook? Oh, King Hook, we pledge loyalty for eternity. Captain, Captain, we have a problem. Keep quiet. Come witness my victory. <laughs> stole the conch shell, and he's gonna use Barum's power to hurt my friends! No! I've broken the promise I made to my dad! I'm such a failure! A promise? What kind of promise? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, but it's not a very happy memory! Boom! <laughs> we must stop Barum before he destroys everything! Pass me the conch shell pig. Here, Papa! No! Pig, watch out! I'll never let you destroy Neverland, Barum. By the power of the Ancient Ones, I command you to get inside this conch shell. Oh, no! It is your destiny! Papa! I'm sorry, Papa. My mission is complete, Pick. I am going to sleep for a very long time now. You must guard this conch shell with your life. It must never fall into the wrong hands. Never! I... I promise you... Oh. So that's the whole story. The only one who can do anything about it is my papa, and he's resting. I'm not about to wake him up to tell him that his good-for-nothing son messed up again. Sometimes people also tell me I'm good for nothing and that I do silly things. So now we're gonna show them we can also do good things. Come on, let's go get your father, Pick. <laughs> This is as far as my magic can take us. Starting here, we have to walk. The Cave of the Ancient Ones is this way. Wow. Huh? I'm the king of Neverland! What if he gets mad at me once he sees me? Uh, I'm scared! Don't what? Uh, uh. Run away! Wasted. The cave is right there. Oh, King Hook, we swear loyalty to you for an eternity. So, my dear Pat, what do you think of all this? You win, Hook. You've beaten me. You've conquered Neverland. What more do you want? You're right. What more could I possibly want? Oh, but I'm so silly. I almost forgot the most important thing. I must still conquer the Never Tree! <laughs> the lost kids will be my servants! John! Wendy? But 
Where's Michael? He's safe with Nevertree. And how are things here? See for yourself. We'll never cook anymore. Yay! We won't wash clothes anymore. <laughs> oh, Captain. My, my, my. I'd forgotten all about them. This will be fun. Barum. <laughs> I think we've lost them. Huh? Ah! John! What are those things? Uh. 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 We're stuck! <laughs> now we've had it. Tinkerbell, I need a little bit of fairy dust. Quick! to get near that conch shell, I'd fly straight onto Hook's lap and steal it from him. But of course! That's the solution! Sienna, you're brilliant! Quick, we've got to find Hook! Huh? What did I say? Oh. Here he is. Papa? Pick? What's going on? Is there a problem? Barum escaped. What? Really, Pick, I never should have trusted you with such an important mission. Now I am too old and tired to lock Barum back up in his conch shell. A Pick is much stronger than you think, and he's the only hope for Neverland. Hmm. In that case, I just have to teach you the spell, my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can just smell it. Total dominance is mine. You all ready? Mm -hmm. As soon as we're out of here, it's all up to you, Tinkerbell. Huh? Mm -hmm. I command the conch shell to appear. Here is the very last conch shell in my possession. Everything is now in your hands. It is your destiny, Pick. Huh? Oh, King Hook, we have come to grovel at your feet. Wendy, what are you doing? Sorry, Peter, but the captain's power is too strong. We can't fight against it. We... we have to submit to King Hook. You? The most stubborn person I've ever met. You're going to give in? You don't truly believe I'm gonna fall for that, do you? Barum, you... Wait! I can prove I'm not making fun of you. John? Cynthia? Huh? Let go of me, you traitors! I'll never submit to that big mustached windbag. If he gets any closer, I'll bite! Uh -huh. <laughs> Poor Sienna refuses to face reality. Let me We're go. handing her over to you to prove our loyalty, Great King Hook. Uh, let me See go! See that, Mr. Smee? And without me even having to make a wig. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's good to be the king, ain't it, Pete? Huh? Gavin, the, the conch shell. <laughs> oh, man, too early. You miserable bunch of slime slugs. You'll be sorry you ever made fun of me. Barum, get that conch shell down now. Oh, no. It's over. <laughs> No! Barum isn't under control anymore. Japan. Do something! Barum, listen. Don't let yourself be taken over by anger. Hook is not worth it. Me and Hook say Barum must never see Michael again. He must pay. Peter, get out of there! Move! 
Shell now that he's become nice again. Little Master mustn't be sad. Barum had fun with Michael. But now Barum needs to go. Here, memory of Barum. <laughs> By the power of the Ancient Ones, I command you now to get inside this conch shell. It is your destiny. Farewell, little master. I have fulfilled my task. I want to thank you for everything. Without you, I'd never have had the courage to do all this. No, thank you, Pick. <laughs> you did it. I'm so proud of you, son. Come, it is time we went home. How about we celebrate Lily's birthday? Barum set it all up for us. Just look. Yeah! yeah! My Michael, we wanted to tell you, you really accomplished some amazing things today. We're not about to call you a good-for-nothing ever again. Thanks. Huh? Oh no, the Flower of Barum! What's going on? Did you see that? Awesome! I'll never forget you, ever. Have a good rest, my friend. Goodbye. 